So first, let's head out to Cook City, Montana. Uh, when you get up by Yellowstone, you're gonna encounter a lot of buffalo and other wildlife on the road. And make sure you don't harass them. You definitely wouldn't want to throw like an orange or a pop bottle or anything at them because that's littering and they are an endangered species. So respect their privacy. Anyway, we're uh, heading up the road here to about an hour out of Cook City and we're gonna go do some uh, snowmobile riding up there. So hope you enjoy. So this year there wasn't a ton of snow, there was a decent amount, like five feet, but there wasn't a lot of fresh, so a lot of areas were tracked out. On the last day we went like way, way back off the beaten trail and found some pretty good powder, but here I think was the first day, so we were still just kind of getting the lay of the land and finding some hills and just having a little fun. You need a pull? You're gonna flip it. Tried to make the highest track. That was my track right there. And I tried to go a little higher and tooted himself. Now Jay's right there hanging on the edge. Of the skis Lily in the air, right on the edge of the cliff. Trying to make his way over and get him out. It's gorgeous out here. Don't know how the view gets much better than this. We got a riverbed here. Leave it to CC to pile her up in the weeds. What'd you do, buddy? Right here? Yeah, what happened there, though? That's the 50th time. Try to climb up. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. It's like 20 foot <laughs> vertical. No, it's farther than rock. Just like a river bed. I could have easily made it up. Yeah, well, unfortunately, you didn't have traction. I'm going I'm going in a fun area. This is fun <laughs> to me. Yeah, this looks, this looks really dope. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so after my sled blew up, that was a bit of a buzzkill, so here's a little footage from earlier this summer. It's uh, riding my dirt bike up through some trails through uh, kind of central and more towards northern Minnesota. These are groomed trails back in the woods. It's uh, a lot of fun. This is a, like, I think it was like a 2015 YZ250 two-stroke. Uh, bike was a lot of fun. I ended up selling it uh, this winter, like looking at a newer KTM. Here comes spring, and yes, I'm wearing my construction gloves because I don't have any riding gloves and refuse to buy some.
how much time did you spend putting screws in these tires? Oh, probably three hours. You ever worry about sliding and then and then hitting the bank and tipping? Yeah, you better not do that. You ever find yourself just wearing some random boots? I have no idea whose these are. I just found them in my garage. I figured I'd throw them on. Do some pretty big scratch marks. Do you uh, do you grip better on this with these screws or on dirt? Ah, uh, grip probably uh, pretty close to the same. Right. What are you doing wearing that Ziggler hat? The guys at Decor are gonna be ticked. I uh, haven't got it happen to them yet. <laughs> Wait, you've been trying for how many years? Two, three years. It is what it is. All right. What else <laughs> you do? <laughs> Gone like the wind. Look at these scratch marks. I don't know how good you can tell, Deep. but it's like right in the ice. <laughs> but he's going completely sideways. <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to slide into the bank and tip. Almost like they made the turbo get as hot to match the shocks. Right? Maybe they did. You can see it's a little slicker than slick. It's honestly the only time I wear my seatbelt. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. If you did hit a bank, it probably would be too good. Yeah, that'd be, that would not be dope. So, being single as a Pringle, and not having a ton of other obligations outside of work, it allows me to be able to do some fun stuff like this outside of work. So pretty much what we do. I ride a little dirt bike, a little side by side, a little snowmobile here and there on the weekends. Um, and that's uh, mostly it. I also enjoy having a little fellowship with a small group of local people on my spare time. And that's about it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, a little different, usually I think it's like the first video I've ever made where it was not a job site the whole time. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Remember, in order to get results no one else is getting, you got to do things no one else is doing. See you soon.